good morning my dear students welcome to the discussion on the subject engineering graphics under engineering graphics we are going to discuss a topic on projection of planes under projection of planes we are going to solve the problem on plane inclined to one and perpendicular to another plane this is the fifth solved problem we are discussing under plane inclined to one and perpendicular to another plane concept now we will enter into the problem the problem which we are going to discuss now is very very important and it was asked many times under university examinations the given problem is the top view of a plane whose surface is perpendicular to the bp and inclined at 45 degrees to the hp is a circle of diameter 60 mm draw the projections of the plane and determine its true shape now we will extract the data from the problem the given data is the top view of a plane whose surface is perpendicular to the vp and inclined at 45 degrees to the hp is a circle of diameter 60 mm and our objective is to determine the true shape of the plane the present problem is to be solved in reverse direction but in general in the projection of the planes we used to start with the true shape of the plane in the first stage and then move towards drawing its front view as well as top view in the second stage but here in this particular problem we need to start with top view and then its front view in the first stage and then move towards drawing its true shape of the plane in the second stage now we will discuss in brief about how to solve the problem on plane inclined to one and perpendicular to another plane concept in general as well as reverse way of solving the problem with examples this is a regular problem in this problem the information supplied is plane is inclined to the hp and perpendicular to the vp and they are asked to draw projection of the plane in order to start the projection of the plane we need to assume the plane is parallel to the hp because the plane is inclined to the hp that's why we are assuming the plane is parallel to the hp here the true shape of the plane is a circle of diameter 60 mm the true shape of the plane is visible in the top view after drawing the true shape of the plane in top view then we'll draw its corresponding front view its corresponding front view is a line view which is parallel to the xy line after that the front view is to be rotated with the given surface inclination that is the line view is to be rotated with the given surface inclination say 45 degrees to the hp after drawing the second stage front view then we'll draw its corresponding top view here the corresponding top view is a ellipse here in this problem we started the solution with true shape and ended the solution with top view whereas in the case of present problem we'll start the solution with top view of the plane which is a circle of diameter 60 mm here when the surface of the plane is inclined with an angle of 45 degrees to the hp then its top view is a circle of diameter 60 mm so for this top view we'll draw corresponding front view here the front view inclination with uh, hp is given as 45 degrees here this is the front view this front view is making an angle 45 degrees to the xy line here our objective is to draw true shape of the plane for that we'll reproduce the first stage front view say a dash c dash into the second stage such that a dash c dash is going to be on the xy line here second stage front view is a line view then we will draw true shape of the plane here the true shape of the plane is a ellipse that is the present problem starts with top view of the plane and ends with true shape of the plane with this brief discussion it's time to enter into the detailed solution for the given problem next step is to draw detailed solution for the given problem 
the detailed solution for the given problem is divided into two stages stage 1 to draw top view of the plane and also its corresponding front view stage 2 to draw front view of the plane and also its true shape of the plane in top view here this is the required solution for us now we will move towards detailed solution the given problem is the top view of a plane whose surface is perpendicular to the vp and inclined at 45 degrees to the hp is a circle of diameter 60 mm draw the projection of the plane and determine its true shape as i explained in the earlier discussion that the projection of the planes starts with true shape of the plane and ends with front view as well as top view but in the present problem the projection of the plane to be drawn in reverse direction that is starts with top view and ends with true shape in the present problem we need to start with top view of the plane that is a circle of diameter 60 mm before drawing the top view of the plane that is circle of diameter 60 mm we need to draw xy line draw xy line after that with a radius of 30 mm draw a circle in the top view after that divide the circle into 12 equal parts for dividing the circle into 12 equal parts we can use either protractor or compass now we'll divide the circle into 12 equal parts by using compass for that take radius of the circle say 30 mm and one end of this diameter as a center draw two arcs on the circle similarly this end of the diameter say this particular point as a center draw two arcs on the circle with this end as a as a center and radius of the circle as a radius draw two arcs with this diameter end as a center and radius of the circle as a radius draw two arcs on the circle name the division points on the circle here a b c d e f g h i j k and l are the division points on the circle the diameter of the circle is 60 mm this is the top view of a plane that is circle of 60 mm diameter when the plane is inclined with an angle of 45 degrees to the hp and perpendicular to the vp next step is drawing front view of the plane when the plane is perpendicular to vp and inclined with an angle of 45 degrees to the hp for that we'll draw projectors through the point say a b c d etc towards the vertical plane in the problem if it is mentioned that if the plane is resting on its point say a on hp then its image a dash falls on the xy line but it is not mentioned in the problem that's why we'll take a dash point it's bit distance from the xy line at a dash draw 45 degrees incline line this incline line is making an angle 45 degrees to the reference line on this incline line we'll mark the images of the division points on the circle 
in front you say b dash c dash d dash e dash f dash g dash h dash i dash j dash k dash l dash here observer is looking in this direction for the observer the points say a b c d e f and g are visible whereas the points say h i j k and l are invisible that's why the invisible points are kept under bracket drawing first stage solution that is top view as well as front view is completed then we'll move to the second stage solution in the second stage we'll reproduce the first stage front view such that this a dash g dash line is going to be parallel to the x y line so draw a line parallel to the x y line after that locate a point a dash then take a dash g dash as a radius a dash as a center draw an arc on this line name this point as g dash then take a dash f dash as a radius a dash as a center draw an arc similarly g dash to b dash also with the same radius so g dash as a center the same radius draw an arc then a dash e dash as a radius a dash as a center draw an arc similarly g dash c dash also with the same radius so g dash as a center with compass draw an arc then a dash d dash as a radius a dash as a center draw an arc name this point as d dash here the first stage top view as well as front view are with h pencil and the projectors are with 3h pencil dimension is with 2h pencil then join the points say a dash to g dash with dark line that's to with h pencil we know that if the line view is parallel to the xy line in front view then its true shape falls on the horizontal plane in top view in order to draw true shape of the plane what we will do we will draw projector through the front view points say a dash b dash c dash d dash etc towards the horizontal plane and also draw projector through the first stage top view points say a b c d etc horizontally rightward direction next step is locating intersection points in the second stage top view here through a dash this is the projector coming downward direction through a this is the projector going rightward direction both are meeting at this particular point and name this point as a1 similarly through b dash this is the projector coming downward direction through b this is the projector going rightward direction both are meeting at this particular point then through c dash this is the projector coming downward direction through c this is the projector going rightward direction both are meeting at this particular point and name this point as c1 
similarly locate remaining intersection points in the second stage top yo name the points say a1 b1 c1 d1 e1 f1 g1 h1 i1 j1 k1 l1 next step is joining all these points with the help of a smooth curve the smooth curve is to be drawn with h pencil while drawing the smooth curves we will hold the pencil little bit distance from the tip and also we should not hold the pencil firmly here this is the true shape of the plane the true shape of the plane is a ellipse this is the top view of a plane object of diameter 60 mm when the plane is inclined with an angle of 45 degrees to the hp and perpendicular to the vp and this is true shape of the object which is a ellipse as we know that if the true shape of the object is on hp then its corresponding view is line view parallel to the xy line in front view this is the first stage solution and this is the second stage solution regarding pencil uses the top views as well as front views are drawn with h pencil projectors are drawn with 3h pencil dimensioning is with 2h pencil here the diameter of the circle is 60 mm that means all dimensions are in millimeters my dear students this is very very important problem that's why you need to practice from beginning to the ending perfectly if you have any queries related to the given solved problem you can mention it under comment section i'm happy to answer it as quickly as possible for more videos on engineering graphics visit the links provided under the description of this video keep learning on knowledge sharing stay blessed thank you for watching